So, you want to know the best settings to get the most out of your Blue Yeti Nano microphone? Stick around, I got you covered. Let's go find out. Hey guys, welcome to Finesse Gaming. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today's video is the settings that I use with the Blue Yeti Nano microphone. It will work the same with the standard Blue Yeti as well. So it's just the way that I can get the audio sounding as good as I can get it to be. Uh, I use Streamlabs OBS for my uh, streaming software, so I do most of the editing in there. Um, one thing, if you do have the standard uh, Blue Yeti, you do have an extra dial on the microphone that you can use to control the gain. I haven't got that, so I do that all within Streamlabs. Um, but yeah, if you do enjoy the video, guys, please consider dropping a like. Hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Your support will be hugely appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hope you enjoy it. Roll the intro. Let's go. Okay, guys. So I'm going to assume that you've got your Blue Yeti uh, plugged in and you've downloaded all the software that you need to. Uh, I'm just going to go over one quick thing before I go into Streamlabs OBS, and that is the Hertz that uh, it comes as standard on. So mine uh, came on 41,000 Hertz, and we're going to see if we can change that now um, to 48,000. So we're going to go into the sounds on the um, system sound control panel, and we're going to bring up this. So uh, we're going to scroll down until you find the Blue Yeti Nano. I've got it down here, and we're going to click on it. And you want to go on to Properties advanced and we want to make sure that we are on the 24 bit 48,000 Hertz studio quality mine came as I said said standard I think all of them do at 44,000 sorry not 41 44,100 the quality of this is nowhere near as good as the 48 so you want to change that over to the 48 and then once you've done that go ahead and open up the blue um, software that comes with it and just make sure that when you click on your nano it's the same thing here okay again this one came at 41,000, sorry, 44,100. Uh, and at first when I changed it on here and it wasn't changed on there, it still didn't work. So you've got to match these two up. So just do that first. Once you've done that though, and you've got it all ready to go, we're going to head on over to, okay guys, so we've gone ahead and opened up Streamlabs OBS. And in here, we're going to show you how to set the audio up so we get the right uh, amount of volume, the right amount of filters. So I use four filters, which we're going to go over now. So. Uh, if you want to add a filter, if you haven't done one before, you can come down here onto the mic, uh, click on the little sign, and we're going to go to filters. So you can see i got four uh, added. If you want to add one or remove one, you can just press on the plus and minus. Uh, I've only just added the gain in uh, in the last little week or so, so I'll go over that in a second as to why I've done it. But uh, the first three I added in um, probably after about a week or so of messing about with different ones. And... Um, I did find a little bit of advice online as to which settings are kind of best and I kind of moved them from there. So I started off on a rough guide and uh, moved them accordingly. Um, so let's just go over quickly what they all kind of do, why they're there and um, why you should be kind of adding them to your audio. So the first two, um, let's just kind of go over what they are. So a noise gate is um, something that kind of turns your signal off when it's below a certain threshold. So uh, maybe for example, if you're breathing heavily or something, or you're breathing and you didn't want anyone to hear that, you can set a threshold just above that noise. Uh, so you'd have to fiddle about with it a little bit, record a few times, just work out where it is and it will cut off any of uh, unwanted noise. A compressor kind of goes hand in hand with a noise gate. You'll see a lot of people have both of these um, working. Uh, and a compressor basically reduces the peaks in your signal. So if you uh, have a very, very high, it will reduce the volume of that. Uh, and it will also increase the volume of everything below a certain threshold as well. So as long as it reaches a threshold, if the noise is quite low, it will help increase the volume a little bit. So it kind of keeps the lows and the highs closer together. The noise suppression um, is similar to this. The noise suppression gets rid of background noise, which will come on in a second. So, so as first, you can see the noise gate I've got here. We've got a closed threshold and an open threshold. So I've got it set a uh, closed threshold at minus 32 and an open at minus 37, which I recommend you start at and kind of move around from there if you need to a little bit. And I find them quite good as I'm uh, streaming or making videos. Uh, and then we have the attack time, hold time and release time. So I'd set these at this. I can't remember actually if that comes as standard. Um, I don't think I had to move these about too much, but uh, you can see what they are, 25, 200 and 150. And then the compressor. I've got the ratio set at 10, the threshold, so this is the volume uh, that will increase, so I've got it set at minus 18. The attack is 6, release is 150, 
and output gain is 15.4. Uh, this is the figure I messed about with uh, a little bit for a little while. I came to this figure uh, and it seems pretty good to me, but uh, this is the one you can move about. The rest of them I would kind of keep to these um, figures if you can, and then uh, if you really have to, have a little look to see what you want to do. But these, this output gain is kind of the main one you want to be moving about. And then lastly, for the settings that I had to begin with is the noise suppression. So it depends how loud your room is for this one. Uh, mine's set at minus 30. Um, I've got a fan and uh, going to my side and a PC as well, obviously with the fans going around in there. So it can get a little bit noisy. So this just reduces that noise. So you shouldn't be picking up too much um, background noise with it set at this. But depending on how noisy your room is, you may have to just move this uh, figure about a little bit. And the last one is the gain. So I've only just added this on. I've, uh, I've gone from kind of uh, 1.5 to 3 and back to 2.5 now. But I just felt the audio was a little bit too quiet. Although it was a good audio still, it was just a little bit too quiet. So I've added a bit of gain. If you do have a Blue Yeti, the standard Blue Yeti, you can actually do this on the Blue Yeti itself. So you don't have to have this in here. Uh, I haven't. I've got the Blue Yeti Nano. So I've only got the one dial, which is the volume. So I've got to add it in on Streamlabs or whatever the um, streaming software you use. So uh, yeah, I've set it at the moment for 2.5, which I'm quite happy with. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you what the audio was like before I had any of these filters on. So you can see the difference between having uh, these three uh, and the last one I've just added now, which you're hearing. So you're hearing the audio obviously as it is. And now we're gonna to listen to an audio before I added any of these things in. Okay, okay. we're gonna do another test. test. I wanna see if this is, um, Still an echo, and if this screen is better, so I'm not like in your face up here, so I'm... Okay, last test, I turned the volume back up to uh, what it was before. Um, let's see if this is working. We should be able to hear music in the background on the game, if it's all working. Okay guys, that's the end of the video, as you can see and hear, the audio is a big difference between now and what it was when uh, I first set it up. So uh, go ahead and try those settings, uh, start kind of on the settings that I had and maybe move about a little bit from there as you need to. So I would change the uh, gain if you need to, the output gain and the noise suppression being kind of the main ones to begin with. But um, if you haven't got like, I've got a PC here right next to me, next to the mic, I've got a fan over this side. So I've got quite a bit of background noise. If you don't have too much, you may need to, to uh, not quite have the same settings. So start at mine, move them about as you need to. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to link all the um, items that I use with the Blue Yeti in the description below. So please go and check them out if you wanted to. I've got the pop filter. I've got a filter on the um, actual Blue Yeti as well. And I'll link the Blue Yeti down there if you want to check them out. And also, you can find me streaming on Twitch and Facebook. Links will be in the description. If you want to check them out, it'll be great to see you there. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, please consider dropping that like. Hit the subscribe button. Turn notifications on. Your support will be hugely appreciated. But until next time, keep gaming. Keep safe. And good night. GG.